And now, another exciting episode of As the River Churns. Okay, we are live. Yes, we are. We are alive and live. <laughs> yes, point. we are. Yes. And we got a fabulous studio audience. Shell, can you turn me down just a little bit, please? Yes, sure. fabulous audience. Fabulous. And look, we didn't have any ice cream or cookies or donuts or, yeah, no, like, so like, what? We're leaving. <laughs> they were handing out cannabis gummies as you came in. Is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> There is cookies right outside the room. Yes, ah. at the there security stand plate station there. there. Yes. The main entrance. At the, the main entrance. temporary yeah. main entrance, yeah. yes. I think so earlier in the afternoon, all these folk were out watching the asphalt work being done. Yeah. So they just yes. love a good show. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, they do. All right, Lisa, let's start out with our trivia okay, for today. Okay, so since we're now in September, we have 2,000 trivia. From Dick Webb, the year 2000. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow, right. good. That decade. So the winner will get a bottle of wine. And it, what is it today? It's a pot re row. A pot re row. <laughs> it's from Argentina. New, I'm going to need a new assistant up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Argentina. It's a Chardonnay, Are you 2018. Sure it's, it's not from Colorado. It's <laughs> yeah. a pot re row. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to throw a curveball. You're going to call Michelle at a different number just for today. Oh, no. She's had a change of number just for today. What? what oh, happened? they do that in the witness protection program, I they think. They do. Yeah. Just today. Okay. What, is, what is the new number just for it today? It is 336-209-3300. Three, three, zero, <gasps> zero, you better say that again. 336-209-3300. Three, three, Three five zero four. Oh. Okay. Wow. Everybody has their phones out, so yes. I wanted to make sure yes. everybody gets okay. that number. Here we go. But it just Here's the question. Question is, which two countries adopted the euro as their currency in two thousand and eight? <gasps> which two countries adopted the euro as their currency in two thousand and eight? Euro. Yeah. The line is open. Euro. 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 Okay, well, we'll see if we get an answer. That's the uh, sandwich, shawarma sandwich, isn't it? Oh, it's, that's a hero, I think. Oh, that's a hero, yeah. yeah never mind. <laughs> good try, though. Never mind. Good try, yeah, good somebody's try. Somebody's calling in. Yes. Okay. Somebody got the right number. Okay. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, do we know why it's a new number today, Lisa? Witness protection. Witness yeah. protection. Was that all it was? Yeah. That's all it was. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, do we have a winner, Michelle? We do not have a winner yet, oh. so keep calling. Okay. Keep calling. Okay, very good. Keep she, calling. She had to switch out phones today, so that's the oh, only reason okay. for today. All right, just for she today. She won't have this phone after today. All right. So. And the number is what again? 336-209-3504. Do you all remember Bill Cullen? He was a game show host with Password. Do you remember? Oh. Well, whenever I think about this, I think yeah. about, and the Password is. Do you all remember yeah. that? Yep. He had, he, he had to whisper it. He had to whisper it. Yeah. And I'm yeah. not sure why he had to whisper it, but yeah. he did. I don't know. Oh. That was always a good show. It I was thought, a good show. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Winner? No. Oh, no, no winner, winner yet. Keep calling. Okay, keep, calling. keep calling. Keep calling. Keep calling. You can Google it. We got them Euro stumped today, I think. So, <laughs> so Lisa, let's talk about COVID. Yes. <laughs> what should we say about it? I don't know if we have to say anything about it, right? Because at the moment, I think we're we really don't pretty clean. Don't. We might have one IL resident that's getting over, over it. it I think. Yeah. There's a new booster coming out. It's going to be available Friday, I understand. Well, we don't know when it will be available here. here. Right. Yeah, right. I think they are going to start mass yeah. producing it right. and putting it so out we, Friday. So we go through Southern Pharmacy. That's who gave us the, did the booster clinic for us last time. Yeah. So whatever they tell us, yeah. they have it available. but. Usually they get it pretty quick. They do. I, I they would do. think with by the end of the month we might start. We should seeing be hearing it, right? something. Yeah. I would think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. So, not much to speak about as far as COVID goes. So, happy about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you come over to the main building anytime in the next couple of days, you're going to smell something unique in the building itself, and that's the smell of asphalt. Asphalt. Yes. Asphalt. One of my favorite aromas. Yes. Because the phase one of the parking thing with the main yep. parking lot 
it's going well. Yeah. It's going well. Yep. In, in fact, if you'd like to get a gift for me for Christmas, yes. Ode to Asphalt is my Ode favorite to cologne. Ode yeah. Yes. Okay. That'll work out well. But <laughs> You know, the most amazing thing to me is the parking lot was clear by noon. Yesterday. On Monday. Uh, that was amazing yeah. how we moved that many cars. Yeah. How many spots would you say we have up there? Oh, it's probably a couple hundred spots. I mean, easily. It's Maybe that many cars spots. are up there every day yeah. and were cleared. Yeah. By noon on Monday. So the thing that we have been mystified about, Lisa. Yes. This is this is the so you know we've got there the we've got the staff parking over at the at the parking comp at the complex over where the sports yep, um, Johnson Street Sports Johnson Complex. Street sports complex. Yep. So we drove around yesterday just to see where residents were parking mm -hmm. at. And we can't find we the can't resident find vehicles. We don't know where they where they <laughs> turned up at. So we know a few of them went up back. Yep. We know but a few of them the maybe went, in, went up to the clubhouse. Yep. but And a few back here, I think. Yeah. But we expect that there'd be a lot more fill up of the. So the I think we have less resident cars than we think. Yes. Either that or residents are mysteriously hiding their cars in other know. places that we're <laughs> yes. I think they might be parking at the sports complex. Oh, they might be. Yeah, because we've been having baseball games and beer. <laughs> yeah. And so they love was. riding the little buses. I don't like, know. It's a but, little trick. <laughs> yep. But really, we were very happy with the way yeah. Monday turned out. I mean, yeah. the cars were out of here very quick um, yesterday. And so just appreciate everybody's, you know, work towards helping us get Absolutely. this done. It just makes their job go quicker for us. Well, they got started earlier yesterday yes. because of that. Yep. So that worked out really well. I don't know how many of you got a chance to watch some of the stuff they're doing out there, but when they were milling up that asphalt yesterday yeah. and pumping it out through some sort of escape hatch, you yeah. know, thing, and it coming out into the truck and all, that's pretty neat. It was, yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, it just comes right up. You wouldn't think that you could create something that could chew it up like no. that, but man, yeah. that, that's pretty yeah, neat. So, that. what's that? I don't know what they do with the. I have no idea. I'm yeah. not sure what they do with the asphalt once it's chopped up. I don't know either. That's a good question. We'll have to find that out. But that's going very well. So, you know, there is a small chance that we could get our parking lot back by the end of the week. But let me just let me just be honest with you. Um, you know, the, the asphalt company wanted to get the parking lot to a point where it wasn't, they didn't have the final ceiling on it and it didn't have any lines on it and then let us use it and then come back later and try and reseal and reline the parking lot when they do everything else at the same time. And we've really been kind of fighting against that, trying to ask them to go ahead and, geez, you know, while we got all those vehicles out of there, wouldn't it be easier just to go ahead and finish the whole parking lot, just get it done so they can turn it over to us so we don't have to try and go back and, and clear cars. that lot again, yeah. just so they can yeah. go back and reseal yeah. and line. So we're making some inroads towards that. I won't promise that that's right. definitely going to happen yet, but we are working with our company to try and get them. So you know what I was imagining? I was imagining all of us parking in a parking lot with no lines, and then they come in and just do the lines around where the cars <laughs> are parked, what that would look like. That would look really good, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'd be interesting. It would look like Margaritaville. That's what yeah, it, would look like. it sure would. Oh. But anyway, you know, our staff have done, have been really amazing because they've been riding the shuttle to and from. And it's only a week. It's not like we're asking them. Yeah. You know, some of you may remember back when we were doing the expansion, mm -hmm. we did that for about a year yeah. Yeah, uh, we that did. we did the shuttle from the church parking lot, which was on the other side of Ski Club. This is a lot easier doing it from the ball fields. It's a lot closer, yeah, so. For sure. But if you drive by that ball field during the day, you see a lot of cars over yes. there. That's, yeah. how, many, that's yeah. how many staff cars would normally be on our, pro our parking lot yeah. on a given day. So it's, it's kind of interesting, but yeah. okay, enough, enough about that. So, but we're, we're gonna have, you need to be staying tuned though, right? Right. Because right. so, things are gonna happen fast after the main parking lot. We could be hitting areas Right. Like that, right? So we, we don't have all those areas locked in yet because they're they're doing it based on what they have availability for machinery yeah. and things like that. So we're kind of having to react quickly. Yeah. So just keep watching Care Merge, in-house mailboxes. We're going to get out next steps as quick as we get them as well. Yeah, so, so. from what we know, the next couple steps are going to be the loading dock area. They're going to be concentrating on that. And then at some point, they're going to start at the daycare side of things in the back. And they're going to basically be chewing up the road all the way up John Knox um, 
pretty much to, almost to the end, I think, is where they're going to go. And the biggest question I've had from residents is, will there be at least one way to get out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Not We're though. not letting yeah. them out. That's yeah. it. You so can't there, leave. There will always be <laughs> a way. This is the Hotel California, <laughs> right? <laughs> so there will be a way that they aren't going to do both sides at once. They'll do one side at a time. Good thinking. So there will always be a way to access out. Honestly, so. we, took, we took the big chunk first. The, yeah. Doing yeah. the main parking yeah. lot is our biggest part of this, in my opinion. Yeah. The rest of it is, is, is nuisance and, right. you know, partial clearing here, partial clearing here, can't use this part of the road, can't yep. use that part yep. of the road for the rest of the project, I think, yep. so. And the other parking lots that we'll have to reseal at a point, we will have to relocate lots. That's but right. But that's a much smaller space yeah. mm -hmm. than this main lot up here. Yeah, if we can get the main lot brought back to us and it's done, yep. then we can, that'll cover a lot of the yep. issues for the future here. Absolutely. So. Any chance we might put a turn lane in from up there at the corner of the EMS? Turn lane at the corner of where you mean where Links Drive is? Yeah. Yeah. No, they're not, this company's not going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, when we have the new road built, by the way, I might as well put a plug in for that. That's you've got that in here already. Yep. So next Wednesday, the twentieth, um, we have uh, a gentleman coming from um, High Point um, Transportation Department uh, for city or city um, government. And we're also going to have some folks from the North Carolina Department of Transportation here. And they're going to be doing a presentation for our residents here in the multi-purpose room. Um, I don't know what time that is. Do you know what time that is? I don't. I didn't write down the time. I want to say it's like 11 o'clock that day. Um, but that will be really good for you all to come to because you get an update on what's going on with the Sandy Ridge Road expansion. I know I get a lot of questions about that from time to time. Give me one second and I can tell you what exactly what time that is. And That's some of, some of you will want to go ahead and list your cars for sale. Yeah. <laughs> At that point, Auto Trader is a good site you can use. <laughs> It'll be 10 o'clock that morning, that Wednesday morning, um, the 20th is when they'll be here. And so I'd encourage you all to come to that if you can if you can make it that day. That's yep. I think it's going to be very interesting we'll to see. We'll broadcast it as well. Yeah. Because yep. I know kind of where they are in the process, but I don't know exactly where they are. So I'm hoping we'll get some more definitive answers from them. So. Okay, I skipped around on you, Lisa. Sorry about that. Oh, that's so. good. Um, meal packaging event. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we have those events coming up on Friday, September 29th, and Saturday, September 30th. So make sure you sign up. There's an activity book in the main lobby there. Sign up for shifts. We have from 9 to 11 and 11 to 1, and that's on both days. And we encourage you, mainly on Friday, it's residents and staff that are here. Mm -hmm. Um, and on Saturday, you'll see outside groups. Um, that's where we'd love for you to invite your family and friends. Um, that just, we do more meals on Saturday. So yeah. typically that's the day we do 100,000 meals. So as many hands as we can get makes it go quicker. Yeah, so, and so if we get enough residents on Friday, we can do a little bit more than the 50,000 that we kind of have targeted. Um, you know, if we don't do as much as 50,000, then we'll just right. have to try and make right. that up on Saturday. Yep. Yep. So. You know, um, obviously we'd love it when the residents come out and join us for that event. It's a great event yeah. and 150,000 meals, you all, and they're all gonna stay local. It's a uh, macaroni and cheese product like we've done the last several years. And all those meals are gonna be local. As a matter of fact, I've been talking with um, Out of the Garden and they're the ones that usually take our meals. And mm -hmm. so they're gonna be taking our meals again this year. And that's great. they use it for their backpack program for mm -hmm. the undernourished, I guess that's the right yeah. way to say that, undernourished mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. children in our area um, that they supply backpacks of food for for the weekends. And so I think it'll be great for that. So hopefully you all can come out and give us a couple hours on Friday or Saturday. And if Friday doesn't work for you, right. if Saturday does, you right. can come on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just, there's going to be more people here probably on Saturday because we open it up to the public in general to come. Um, but, you know, we'll just have to see uh, how that works out. But, you know, we'd love to have you come or if you really are energetic and you want to come both days, come both days, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We could use the help. Okay, 20th anniversary event. We have the grand finale coming yes. up. Yes, we do. Yes, so the Luau, that's on September 22nd. Um, the event will be outside, right outside here on the croquet court. That's where we'll have tables and chairs and um, our Hawaiian buffet feast out yeah. there so that great. should be should be good 
Um, food begins at 4.30, and then for the rest of the events, and at six o'clock, there'll actually be a luau show that we have. At 7.40, there'll be a fire, a fire show that the uh, luau folks put on for us. And then directly following that will be eight o'clock for fireworks. So it, yeah. it'll be a, a fun, activity-packed evening. So it should be a good time. Yeah, and uh, the fireworks company that we were able to get um, has well, just received the permit for the fireworks show, so we're good there. That's good. And so That's good. I think we're pretty set. You know, all we got to do is pray for good weather, right? Just, yeah, mm -hmm. no rain. But hate to have a fireworks show when it's raining outside. Yeah. I make it a little difficult yep. to see them. So yep. wouldn't be good. So if you all would be <laughs> praying for good weather that night, that'd be great. And you know, it's hard to believe, but that's it's only a week and a half away. Yeah, yeah. And you don't need to make reservations for it. And just know all the dining venues will be closed that night, except for the bistro. Their bistro will be open and having the normal food options that they have. So, right. Because we know some folks maybe don't want to come out to eat outside. So the bistro will be open. Yeah, it's funny because um, I announced at our last board meeting that we were going to have the fireworks again. You all know how Tim Webster is about us having fireworks here. And then I said, oh, by the way, we're having a fire show from 740 to 8 o'clock. <laughs> And I think he threw up his glasses oh in the air and just kind of went, what yeah. else are you going to do that's yeah. going to cause me stress? So, you kind of surprised him with that one. Yeah, I did kind of surprise I didn't tell him about the fire show. No. I don't know. I, I just didn't want to cause him any more stress than he's already exactly. under. So. Yeah. And then we're going to have a fire sale after that. Yes, we will. <laughs> All things fire. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, have to put a plug in for the Bright Spire Olympics. That's coming up. Mm -hmm. So for Whitney, she wanted me to share this for you all. Um, the week of September 25th, each community is doing puzzles, Sudoku, and Wii Bowling. That's all within each community. Yeah. Then they collect the scores, and then they'll come up with the winners from that. Tuesday, September 26th through the 28th, they're doing men's and women's golf tournaments. On uh, Monday, October 2nd, we go to Glen Eyre. Tuesday, October 3rd, we go to Scotia Village. Wednesday, October 4th, we're here at River Landing. Thursday, October 5th, they think we should have a rest day. So yeah. that's the day we stay home. And then Friday, October 6th, we go to Scotia Village again. So the first Scotia Village, that was for bridge. Yeah. So just the bridge bridge tournament that day. So we go to Scotia two times. You know, when you were saying that, I, kept, I don't know why I got this vision of this little piggy went to the market, this little piggy <laughs> stayed home, this little piggy had roast beef. So we have a lot of excitement coming up for sure. And if you wanna be a spectator for that, make sure you sign up for those trips as well. The The buses do leave very early though, I noticed that. They do, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> they leave very early, so, yes. okay. Yeah, and this will be, you know, if the merger goes through, this will be the last one we have that's probably going to be like this. Um, With those three, probably. we'll have four. At, yeah, it could be very interesting or five, next year. I don't yeah, know how that, have no idea how that would even look know. or feel yeah. at this point. Yeah. But, um, I don't know how that will look. You well, know, it'll be fun. I, I've already got this vision in my head about the Wellspring folks coming over and being a part of our, our you know, Olympics and <laughs> us just taking it to the Wellspring folks. <laughs> <laughs> Just socking it. I'm sorry. Easy, easy time. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Easy, here. I'm easy, easy, easy. I'm easy. sorry. I'm sorry. You, you know, Tom, this is recorded. <laughs> he didn't I'm just it. kidding. Yes. <laughs> we will have spirited competition. I was going to say. Yeah, it's it'll be great. With our new year. friends. That, that, that would actually be kind of fun to be able to Yeah, do. absolutely. Yes. <laughs> we'll see. You know, I have no idea how well they would be interested. You know, it's kind of like with Friends Homes. You know, we've seen them participate in a little bit of the Olympic right, stuff. Right. But not a whole lot. I have no idea whether or not the Village of Brookwood or Wellspring would even participate right. in that. That's so. true. But it gets old beating the same people every year. I know, right? Yeah, so we want some new people to new beat. New blood, right? <laughs> <laughs> and don't we have a, our, our um, you probably mentioned this already, but don't we have our, um, our kickoff with the, is the band going to be coming this year? Do we know? That the, we don't know that yet. Yeah, so. okay. Still working on the pep rally that's coming up the week before our Olympics. So we'll see who Whitney gets locked in for it, for the entertainment. Yeah, unfortunately, I think so. we found out our band director from Southwest yes. is no longer there, right? right so right. they've so got our, our contacts not we're there. We're trying to get to the new band director yep. over there. She's trying, yeah. so we'll hope, we'll hope she can get it. Uh, update from Furl. So Furl is pleased to report that over 900 registrations wow. 
were received for the fall series courses that begin next week. And that was just one class. That's amazing. That's right. yeah. <laughs> Many thanks to the generosity of course leaders for graciously sharing their multitude of skills and talents with the Riverlanding community. So if you remember, all of them in the past, the last couple semesters that they've had, they've had around 500. So this almost doubled. Wow. Almost doubled. So yeah. that's, that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, the FRO Work Group is already working on courses and programs for the spring 2024 term. If you have ideas for courses, prospective leaders, please communicate them to any member of the FRO Work Group. And let's see, the FRO Work Group invites expressions of interest in membership of the group for two positions that are open this year and need to complete your expression of interest by November 1st. Positions are three-year terms starting on January 1 and are open to any independent living resident. The expression of interest, paperwork with, and directions for submission are found in the FURL form, work group interest portal on the left-hand side of Care Merge on the front page. And a note from Allison, final classes will be posted on Friday on Care Merge, and also um, there will be a book in the lobby that has people's names next to the courses. So, you know, I, can, I wanna try to be out. modest, but my own course uh, has had a lot of interest. Yeah, yep, yep. Yo yodeling for fun and profit. Yeah. <laughs> I could see how it's it It's a big hit. Yes. Yeah, it's going to yes. be a big hit. That's why the numbers jumped up to 900. <laughs> yes. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> you sure they weren't voting for whether or not you should have your course or not? Right. Maybe that's why we got 900. Uh. <laughs> okay, a few other announcements. Good news. The grab and go fridge in the bistro yes, arrived it's, today. It's here. It's here. It's up and running. I don't know if it's cold yet, but it's up and running. Yes. So we're, we're good, we're good. So you'll be able to see those offerings um, back out there again. Um, let's see, Carol Allen and the Pacemakers, they're tonight in here in the multi-purpose room, seven o'clock, and also broadcast on 1390. So make sure to tune into that. The J&J &J show, so that's Jill and Joanne, um, tomorrow at 4 p.m. here in the multi-purpose room. That was a rescheduled event, so just wanted to put a plug in for them. That's tomorrow at 4. Um, billing reminders. You all know, you've been getting communication on it, that we have changed our billing system and our process of doing that. So the bills are supposed to be out on Friday. <laughs> it's a new billing system. Yeah. <laughs> so the bills will be out the first of the week. Which, did you say which week? Which week? <laughs> <laughs> just keep them. Just, just keep them. <laughs> the first of next week. That's, that's, yes. Now it's recorded. It's the first of next week. Yes, so we'll, we'll hope for that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's coming. So um, if you have your bills drafted, they will push out that date because they want to have the five days between when you receive your bill and when it's drafted. So that date will also be pushed out. So don't be worried if you don't see that drafted on the 20th of the month. Because if you don't get your bill till after that, it, it will be Not only out. don't worry, but don't spend the money. <laughs> that's, right. that's true too, that's true too. That's a good point. So just wanted to let you know that we'll put it out on Care Merge, but this information is hot off the press. Mm. I just got it from a call I received before coming down here. So um, the bills are a little bit delayed, so. Darn. I, don't, right? I was going to say, I don't think we're going to have too many people upset about that. Nobody seems to be complaining about it, so I think no. we're okay. Okay. Um, simple gesture September summer, summer party. Say that really quick. I know. Wow. Um, Thursday, so this week, the 14th at 2 p.m., the multipurpose room. Come help us celebrate. River Landing has surpassed 100 volunteers for Simple Gesture, hmm. which is a local nonprofit that feeds the hungry. We've collected um, and Simple Gestures has distributed hundreds of food bags to those in need from our community. So thank you all for being part of that. Yeah, that's great. So <laughs> over 100 volunteers, that's, that's amazing. That is amazing. Yep. Uh, just to let you all know, we have the hybrid ROFs, uh, the tours tomorrow. So we're gonna have ROFs come here and tour the hybrid homes. Um, so you'll see some, some extra folks walking on campus here up near the clubhouse area in the hybrids. We are busing them in, in as well since our parking is limited here. So they'll be out with the Johnson Street parking lot with us. Uh, but because of that, the Overlook and the Hilltop Pub will be closed for lunch tomorrow.
but they will be opened up for dinner time and we are serving a special barbecue dinner. Mm -hmm. So that will be the only option available from the menu that night. Um, and it's $15 per person and menus were in your boxes. So hopefully you saw that offering, it looked amazing. And from so. the patio, they'll be able to watch the uh, resurfacing of the yes, parking lot, which would be really fun, I think. Very exciting. Sure, yes. sure, <laughs> little entertainment. Okay, um, the band, band members are needed. So we have a couple openings in the River Landing Band. So if you're interested, come, they practice on Monday afternoons around, I think it's 1.15. Um, just come to a practice, check it out, and let their director know if you're interested in joining the band. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. You it's can toot your own horn. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh. That was good. Uh, we had the U.S. Citizenship Celebration that was supposed to be scheduled for this week. We have postponed it just because of with the parking lot and all that stuff. We do have some families coming in for that. So we did postpone it to Thursday, November 2nd. So we'll be advertising that more coming up. Uh, one last thing. Is that election day? It's Thursday, not Thursday. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a Thursday. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. It's Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I said, wouldn't that be kind of cool that it would be U.S. US yeah. citizenship yeah. thing on election day? <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. But you're right, this yep. Thursday. Yep. Never mind. It's Tuesday the following week. Tuesday the following week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's close enough. Um, and one last reminder, in the water's edge, um, I had a resident wanted wanted me to remind folks that there is a walk-in area. So if you don't make reservations because you're not sure maybe what time you're going to come down or it's a last minute thing, they do have a special area where folks can walk in and they'll seat you with whoever's there. So it's also a great way to get to know Absolutely. folks and um, uh, get to meet, meet new residents or mm -hmm. residents that have been here you just haven't met before. So don't forget that, that's the water's edge. There's an area for walk-ins. So Lisa, a couple things that I know, because we didn't even get a chance to go over the agenda before the meeting. Uh, two quick things, one is we're pushing hard against our elevator company to get the part that we need for the freight elevator. Uh, quite honestly, we have, we have to pay for that part, which it doesn't surprise me, but it's not cheap. Yeah. But I would have thought we'd had it already. They had kind of said that they thought that we'd have it already. So we're pushing hard against our elevator company. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever, have ever had to deal with elevator companies before, but they are not the easiest people to work with. I'm just going to tell you that. And right, you know. What's that? Yeah, a lot of <laughs> yeah. So we're doing our best to try and get, because you know, we want that freight elevator to get rolling yeah. as soon as we yeah. can. Um, so we're doing our best to try and get to push them as much as we can. But you know, honestly, I'm just gonna tell you, they're, they're kind of holding all the cards um, for us right now. And so we'll, we'll keep pushing that angle. But um, you know, honestly, I, if I had my option to be able to do this, we would be looking for another elevator company. And I'm still, we were locked into a contract right now, which is gonna be hard to get out of, but once that contract's done, I can tell you we're gonna be looking for another elevator company. The problem is I think they're probably a lot alike, all of them that are out there, so, um, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. I've just not been happy with the service we've been getting from this company, yep. so we'll keep moving on. They are giving us the shaft. They are giving us the shaft. Uh, very good, David. Um, <laughs> The other thing I wanted to just say is, um, I hope most of you either got a chance to come or got a chance to watch this morning, uh, Tim Webster coming and talking about the merger. I thought, I thought he did a good job explaining kind of a little bit more in detail, giving a little bit more concreteness to what this merger means. And I thought it went pretty yeah, well today, to be honest. We had great, great questions, questions from the residents. Yeah. Um, and I thought Tim did, you know, mm -hmm. The one thing I love about Tim, I hope you all know this, you know, Tim's very transparent. I mean, he, he answered the questions just the best he knew how to answer them at this point, and you know, that's what I like about Tim. You know, it's part of the reason why you know, I like working here is because we have a great management services office, and these are people that really do support us mm -hmm. in our efforts mm -hmm. here, and so uh, mm -hmm. Tim's just, um, he's a real good stand-up guy, I and mean, he's just, um, uh, we're very, I think we're very blessed to have him as the leader of our organization. Mm -hmm. So I thought he did a good job coming in here today. He did. So. And I believe it's already up on Care Merge. So if you did miss it, you can go to the link on there for Care Merge. Very good. And see it. Yeah. Okay, that was it.
Ken, I think we're to you. Yeah. Right. You got some goodies for us today? I hope for our so. Studio audience, if you want to look over here, you can see I the funnies. So. Well, I don't know if you know Buzz Lightyear, but that's Buzz Lightyear there. And Buzz says, you see, people don't want to hear your opinion. They want to hear their opinion coming out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I, it is actually true. Yes. It is actually true. Oh, this, was, this, is, this is pretty good. The coffee shop had a sign that said, no Wi-Fi, pretend it's 1973. So I paid 10 cents for my coffee and lit a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be about 1973, wow. wouldn't yes. it? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Out of all my body parts, my eyeballs are in the best shape because I roll them like 342 <laughs> times a day. Do you know what to, you're supposed to do if somebody rolls their eyes at you? No, what? You roll them back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. these, are some, these are some points to ponder here. If the number two pencil is the most popular, why is it still number two? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are just no answers to these. There's no answers yes, to these. Yes, yes. What was the best thing before sliced bread? <laughs> Nobody ever talks about that. <laughs> Why do we drive on parkways and park on driveways? <laughs> I've always wondered it's that. so confusing. It is confusing. It is very confusing. Like this one. Why are there no B batteries? <laughs> They're all A's. I guess because we all want the best, maybe the A's. <laughs> all right, here is my cat getting ready to hear about my day. <laughs> Some people say they have a hamster on a wheel in their head. I have four squirrels fighting over an acorn. <laughs> oh now, gosh. in Wisconsin, do they say acorn? Acorn? Acorn, yeah, yeah. It, it, in Texas, it's A-K-E-R-N, acorn. Uh, yeah. Acorn. Acorns, yeah. <laughs> I never run with scissors. Those last two words were unnecessary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It takes a while. It takes a while. <laughs> Leave that one up for a second, will you? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My brother took going to jail really badly. He refused food, drinks. He spat and swore at everyone who came near him and started throwing things everywhere. After that, we never played Monopoly again. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, I've played Monopoly with people like that before. Mm -hmm. A new airplane has been developed that cannot crash. Made from rubber polymers, it will just bounce. The craft was invented by Boeing, Boeing, Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got to look at the uh, locking mechanism on this bicycle. It's one of those little, um, it's, it's, I hope I'm not related to this person. Can you see that they've, they've got the coiled thing just over the post? So to lock the bicycle. Just lift it up. That's all you got to do. Oh, well. My therapist told me the way to achieve true inner peace is to finish what I start. So far, I've finished two bags of M&Ms and a chocolate cake. I feel better already. <laughs> See, therapists should be more specific, apparently. I'm not trying to make waves here, but in my opinion, Dove chocolate tastes way better than their soap. And, and this, this one made me nostalgic. Who else had to do this? And if you can't see it, it's repetitively written down. I will not talk in class. I will not talk in class. I will not talk in class. Mm -hmm. You won't believe this, but I had to do that. <laughs> well, we believe that, what? Yeah. <laughs> Can you? Yes, it didn't work either. But it helped my penmanship, mm -hmm. I think. Doctors have just identified a food that can cause grief and suffering years after it's been eaten. It's called a wedding cake. Oh. <laughs> and then our final one. Whatever you do today, do it with the confidence of a four-year-old in a Batman t-shirt. Oh. Boy, isn't that true? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Those are good, Ken. Yeah. All right, Lisa, I think we had a winner for our trivia, we right? We do, we do. 
and it's a studio audience winner. What? Yes. Okay. So the question, which two countries adopted the euro as their currency in 2008? The answer is Malta and Cyprus. And the winner is David White. Oh, David, <laughs> yay. So we don't have to go far with the bottle of wine. No. I was going to say, we'll deliver right it to you. you. <laughs> Malta and Cyprus would not have been my first two guesses. Or my third or fourth or fifth or sixth. I was going to say, it wouldn't have been my hundredth either, I don't think. So I don't think I would have put those two together for that. Well, that's sometimes the only way you can get these is well, yeah. just to Google yeah. them, right? So, well, Lisa, we've had fun with this parking stuff already, which yeah. is going to continue throughout <laughs> the rest of the week. So, uh -huh. yeah. But at least we're providing some entertainment for the residents, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah. and there were no audience jokes about the meaning of asphalt, which no. I'm which I'm pleased about. <laughs> no. well. This is a this is a, a PG rated show, after all. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you've, now you've got everybody wondering what the meaning of asphalt is because they're all kind of sitting there going, what did she mean by that? What is, what is the meaning of that? They'll have to talk to me later. Yes, they will. <laughs> well, we hope you all have enjoyed the show today. Ken, thanks again for being on here as yes. always. Yes. Um, you know, we don't get a chance to say this enough, but we really do love you all very much. It's, um, I made the mistake in a board meeting um, Besides telling Tim about the fire, I said, you know, Tim, I said, or I said to the board, I said, you know, I said, I, I like my job so much, I probably would do it for free. And he did say that. And we were doing budget at that time. So Tim says, hold on, we're going to re we're going to redo the budget now yep. at this point and take that out of there. But, you know, I know I speak for Elisa and I and really for a lot of our staff, probably all of our staff members are, you know, it's very rewarding coming to work here it's it doesn't feel like in a lot of ways you're coming to work it feels like you're coming to just be part of your another family and that's what it always feels like to me when I come here and so we just got we got great residents we got a great staff we just I think we got just so much to be appreciative of here and I realize that things aren't perfect you know it's it's not ever gonna be perfect here but as it is not perfect in this world but you know, really, when you think about what we have here, we really are very fortunate and very blessed. Mm -hmm. And so don't forget that, y'all. No matter how bad life can get, remember that you're blessed. Remember that, um, that you live in a great place with great residents and friends that surround you and a staff that cares about you. So keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Um, even when you're on your darkest days, try and remember that, okay? All right, so we love you. With that, we'll say goodbye and hope you all have a great afternoon.